Fox Sports North, the Minnesota Wild and Minnesota Hockey are very proud to present this year's State of Hockey Legacy Award to John Mayasich, who joins an elite list of recipients. The award is given to individuals who have made extraordinary and long-term contributions to the state. Just look at the list. Doug Woog, Larry Hendrickson, Bob Nagley, Lou Nanny, Glenn Sonmore, Neil Broughton. Here is more on this year's recipient, John Mayasich. John Mayasich is widely considered the greatest hockey player ever from the state of Minnesota. Born and raised in Eveleth, he was the key figure in the state's first high school dynasty. Eveleth featured stars Willard Eichela and John Matchefs. But Mayasich was a cut above. His Golden Bears team never lost a game in his four years on varsity and won four straight state championships. Mayasich's 36 goals, 46 points, and seven hat tricks are still state tournament records. Without a doubt, uh, John Mayasich was the best high school hockey player to ever play in uh, Minnesota. There is no doubt in my mind, and I've seen a lot of hockey. He dominated play. I mean, you just, it's, he, he was a Gretzky of our era. After high school, Mayasich took his magic to the University of Minnesota. John became a three-time All-American and still holds the school record with 144 career goals and 298 points, all in just 111 games. John also starred on the international stage, leading Team USA to a silver medal at the 1956 Olympics and was part of the gold medal winning team in 1960. What an incredible career and an absolute icon in this game. John Mayasich still lives in Eveleth. He is on a curling team, and of course, he is the skip of that team because why wouldn't he? Uh, Anthony LaPanta recently chatted with the legend himself, John Mayasich. Well, John, congratulations on being presented with the State of Hockey's Legacy Award presented by Fox Sports North, the Minnesota Wild, and Minnesota Hockey. If there's a name synonymous with hockey in Minnesota, yours has got to be close to the top of that list. When you look back, and we just want to reflect on some of the times in your career, and we'll start with your high school team, Eveleth, coming down to the state tournament. What your team's accomplished will never be matched. Undefeated for four seasons? I mean, that's incredible. You know, we had great teams. It wasn't individuals. Just think, I practiced and shot against Willard Eichel after school and practice for four years and what it did for my maybe success or shooting ability or scoring ability we all helped each other we grew together and it was strictly a team effort four titles in four years at Eveleth, and that was just the start of your career because you went on to a tremendous career first at the University of Minnesota where you were an All-American and a part of some great teams at the U of M. What do you remember most about those times with the Golden Gopher program? Being able to play with those I played against, Dick Doherty for example, International Falls, and Dick a linemate uh, for three years at the U. Gene Campbell, the Meredith brothers. Uh, so the Minnesota kids that I played against now were teammates, and that was special. Doc Romnus, my first coach, uh, uh, a great teacher of hockey, and uh, of course, Mariucci for three years. It was uh, Minnesota kids. And uh, look what that program has become. So we all feel that today we were a part of the pioneers of that growth. I'm proud of that. I think it's always interesting to talk to guys who were a part of that 1960 gold medal team because most hockey fans, when they think U.S. gold medal in the Olympics, they think 1980, but it wasn't really that much more of an upset than what you guys had pulled off back in 1960. What stands out most to you about that? They predicted that maybe we'd get a bronze, and that would be an accomplishment. So that whole series, day after day of winning and winning, and uh, in the United States and the fan base and uh, exciting as heck and it, it happened so quick that you know there you are with the gold medal 
and uh, meeting the Russians, of course, special in Canada again, who we defeated in 56. So you never forget that. Truly an honor today to, to share some of those stories and to hear some of your stories. We congratulate you on this State of Hockey Legacy Award and a name that will forever be synonymous with greatness in Minnesota hockey. Thank you, Anthony.